You're an amazing sweetie. I'm trying to really like, tell this one what it's supposed to She does a great be. work. I feel like you're mocking me. I would never mock you. Just a little bit. <laughs> This week's reading vlog, it is October 28th at like 10 o'clock. I have to go to math class very shortly in a couple of minutes once my mom's done drying her hair. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but she's drying her hair. But I thought that I would update you guys on what I'm reading this week. So my physical book, I'm going to get done probably today because I'm trying to get to 12 books for October. It is Girl Town by Carolyn no whack. It's a graphic novel, so like, it's only gonna take me like 20 minutes to half an hour, but I've read the first story because I think it's just a bunch of like little shorter stories with the same characters in it, and like it was okay. It was really weird though. I don't know if they're gonna get weirder or less weird. I don't know. There was like a ritual with like a sock dog and a girl with one arm, and I don't know if this is like the second book in a series or like something because I'm confused, so... I don't know what's going on. But then I'm listening to my audiobook, which is a Second Grave on the Left by Dorinda Jones. I just finished book one. This is the second book in the Charlie Davidson series, and I gave it a one star. So, like, I didn't like it very much. It was very problematic. There was a lot of, like, racist and, like, just not good things in there. But it was also written in 2011, so I don't know if that's because, like, it was the time. I don't know. There was a lot of demon sex, son of Satan sex, lots of sex, rape culture. It was just not a good time. Didn't enjoy it. But I have the first four books in the series. It's like a 20 book series, but I have the first four. So I'm thinking maybe it'll get better. I don't know, but I'm only like 30-ish pages in and so far it's better than the first one, but still not very good. What are you doing? I'm separating the good candy from the bad candy so I can give the bad candies to the kids and eat all the good candy what's myself. The, what's the good candy? Wonder Bars. And Mom likes Mr. Big, so I have to separate mm -hmm. those. That's not for me. And Crispy Crunches and Coffee Crisp. Yes. Everything else goes to the children because to I'm the generous. Because <laughs> you're generous. How much did you spend on this? Um, zero dollars. How much did you spend on it? Exactly. So you're not being generous. I'm being very generous with my candy that is for me. Um, but I decided that I would share with the children because I like doing charity work. It counts for good too. Would you like me to separate those too? Because I can. <laughs> I also agree Kit Kats are good. Oh, what are you wearing? My new Brock sweater that I won from a raffle because I'm lucky and win raffles. But not lottery. No, lottery never, gambling never, but raffles. Goodreads win every time. Yes. Everything else. And what did she say about it when she gave it to you? Oh, I got an extra, extra large because I like my sweaters really big. And she was like- And she, you wear a medium though. Yeah, but the girl who like ordered it, like asked me if it was the proper size because she's like you don't look like you wear an extra extra large i was like but apparently it took too long because she wasn't sure if it was the right size <laughs> it's like why didn't you just email me and ask me if it there was you the go. right size okay say goodbye goodbye this came today for jay do you want to know who it's from yeah what's it say pardon what's it say I figured this book would be most suitable for your birthday. Happy birthday from Christina, a.k.a. Reader, at Reader NW. Oh. <laughs> it's going to be birthday. If only you can get it out. <laughs> She's struggling. Ah! Thank you, nice. Christina. Never heard of that. I have, I have, I have, I have. Thank for a package. <laughs> And this is the second time <laughs> the doorbell has gone with a package for Miss J. <laughs> I can't it. I, uh, I, I just want mine. It's like Christmas. It's like, it's like your birthday coming up or, or something. Or something. Oh, wow. A package in a package. Package in a package. Ooh! Is that a good thing? What day is it today? What's really funny is that you don't wake up with that much enthusiasm and then that comes out of your mouth. What day is it today? It is Tuesday. October? 29th. Which means? 
It's the day before Wednesday. It means that this day, 24 years ago, a queen was born. A queen? That's me. <laughs> it's my birthday and I have to go to class till 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. and then 2 to 5, but then I get steak! Get what? Steak! You're so weird. What else do you get? Presents! What else do you get? Carrot cake! Cake! I Which is cake. funny because you're going to be so full from going to the keg that you're not going to want to eat it anyway. And give me a sliver. A sliver. A sliver. The point is, is that I am 24 and one year closer to death. Oh. Yay. <laughs> I'd like to tell you that I bought birthday candles instead of a tea light to go on your cake. <laughs> I'm more important than daddy. That's 100% what you're saying. Thank That's you. That's not it. Thank it's you. That you, guys, you guys mocked me because I didn't find any candles. So I bought some. Open for self-care. Oh, that's the um, face that's... mask. Oh, Remember I told yeah, you? Yeah. They sent me a box that is a face mask creator, creator do-it-yourself thingy. They want me to make one of the face masks and make a video. So that'll be up eventually whenever I do that. Got it! Woo! Okay, ready? Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Wow, beautiful. So you make your own face mask. Look at that. Oh, watch this. Oh, and you can... Why is there so much tape? Okay, here you There's go. There's something in there, but I don't There's know what. There's a candle. What. Smell oh. it. It's lavender-ish. I was going to say citrusy, but like not citrusy. Yep. Does that make sense? It smells lemony la lavender-ish. And look, a bath bomb. And a bath bomb. Self-care. So I'm finally back from class now. It's 5.20. We were going to get out an hour early because it was my birthday and my prof was like, we'll get out an hour early instead of staying for the three hours. But then these two groups that we have were like, but we have to present our presentation. And I was like, why don't you just shush your mouth so we can all leave early? But no, we had to stay for their presentation. So the class went until 4... 30 440 and then the traffic getting home was just like ridiculous so i'm finally home at 5 20. i found out that i have an assignment due at 11 59 tonight that i literally had no idea i had at all the only reason i know that i have it is because my prof emailed us all and said make sure you have your post posted by 11 59 tonight because last week we had flex week, so I guess like nobody really thought about it. So now we're all like scrambling for it and I'm really annoyed because I'm supposed to go out to the keg for dinner tonight, but I have to write this stupid post thing by 11.59 and it's like a research thing, so like I gotta get to that. But I thought that I would show you guys the box that my mom just unboxed in the clip that you guys just saw. So Macmillan sent me over this box, it says open for self care, and it's like this do it yourself beauty mask book thing that has 38 simple all natural recipes for healthy skin. But but it's kind of cool because there's like this envelope thing that you like open and when you pull out what's inside, it's these like face masks, but they're like just the outline of the face mask, if that makes sense. And then you make whatever the face mask that you want in here from the all natural face masks. And then you put it on these face masks and then put it on your face, which I never knew was a thing because like I thought you would just make it and then like rub it on your face, but apparently you get cute little face mask mask thing. So that's fun. And then it also came with, oh, I just dropped that. And then it also came with a scented candle that is apparently La Belle Fille, which I don't speak French even though I'm Canadian, so shame on me, but I think it smells like citrus. My mom says it smells like lavender, so clearly one of our noses doesn't work. I don't know which. It doesn't say like what the flavor is. Maybe I'll Google what La Bef Bel -fo 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 Bel Bel Effy. It also comes with a stress relief aromatherapy natural spa bath bomb. Which honestly, like bath bombs kind of um, creep me out because I don't want all of that in my hoo ha. Probably does not matter. But to me, I'm like, no, thank you don't like baths. I have to make one of the face masks and make a video out of it 
and upload it sometime in November. I think it's like the first two weeks of November. I'll have to check the email. But I think I'm definitely gonna make Ricardo do it with me or at least my mom so that it's not just me by myself because that's not fun. Um, reading update wise, I haven't really read anything because I've been in class all day, but I did read one more like story from Girl Town. It's still really weird. Um, I honestly don't really know what to think of it. It's kind of cool though because every like story or like short chapter has like different artwork which I think is kind of interesting because I believe that it's the same like artist doing every single one. So I guess they just have different styles that they put in but so far really weird. Not 100% sure if I like it. But it now I need to go do my work because I only got like two hours before dinner, so wish me luck. This is the good one. A gift for you. Ah, that's cool. Show to the camera. Is it your video? Plus with your socks. That's true. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Do you like your That's gifts? Very cool. Yes. <laughs> it's what I said. <laughs> I texted her and I said, "Blue, gray, pink, or maroon?" And she goes, "I don't know." Blue? I'm like, "No." Okay, gray? No. I go maroon. She goes, "Okay, maroon." And then the other day, I'm going, "What do you think I got you?" She goes, "It's one of the blah 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 blah." And I went, "No." It's, it is. it's like the biggest sweater ever. That's a sweater? Yeah. <gasps> it's like basically a Snuggie, but like not a Snuggie. It's like basically a blanket. In oh my god, that is so much better. <laughs> Does your sizing look better now? <laughs> yeah, it's such a good size. Oh, so the giant package for snacks. <laughs> but you can sit with your feet and like with your this. knees yeah. up. Like... Burrito. Love it. <laughs> Hello. It's Wednesday. I just got back from my placement and one of my kids got me a birthday Halloween present and it's so cute. It's from Lush and it's just a bath bomb, which I don't use bath bombs, but it's the cutest thing ever because oh, look at him. He's a little monster. It smells yummy. Yeah, it does. But like, is that not like this nicest thing ever? Like she like came up to me. She was like, Miss J, I got you a present for your birthday. But I crossed it out and said happy Halloween because it's also Halloween and I don't know which one I should say. I was like, oh. She's the sweetest, I love her. Come here. Come here. Hi. I got a package and mom's gonna open it because that's what mom does. Because now it's my unboxing. It's from Penguin Random House. I know what it is. I don't. I do. But that was ineffective. <laughs> Great job, Penny. Dylan, what the heck? We'll be right back while I open this package. Back to your regular oh, program. For Pete's sake. Oh my I god, did you get No, it's all adhesive. The whole thing is adhesive. The whole thing is adhesive. That's weird. Dun, dun, dun. Yay, there you go. So it. Oh, I dropped it. It is River of Royal Blood by Amanda Joy. Penguin Teen sent it to me in exchange for my honest review, but it came out on my birthday, so you can all buy it That'd now. That'd be really cool, though, if, you, if they would send people a, a book on their birthday. Ricardo's trying to make cookies. He used scissors to cut them. Okay, I don't know how to make cookies. <laughs> can we just take in how thick that one is? This can be a thick cookie. It's a big cookie. It's thick. <laughs> okay, we'll see how this turns out. It's gonna be fine. Okay. Wow, that worked out well. <laughs> How do you feel? Accomplished. I mean, the first ones were good. That one... This one expanded a lot more. So, okay, so, reviews. I threw out the packages. President's Choice, don't expand that much. Pillsbury, that happens. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, the, the Pillsbury cuts were a little thicker and they ended up being flatter. Okay, but which are better? My cookies or PC? Your cookies. Good answer. <laughs> Happy birthday, Queen. I love you so much. I hope your day is absolutely incredible. Thank you for being such a great friend. May the stars bless you this coming year. XXX, Carrie. Oh, I love Carrie. <gasps> oh, the natural. I love how she said <laughs> the stars because she's like super into astrology. Oh, okay. Like really into it. I don't understand any of it. 
Yeah, I didn't want to write her last name. Say her last name, so. Thank you, Carrie. What is this? Hello! It is November 1st, and we are having our first snowfall, and I'm not okay. This is horrible. I'm so sad. It's not a lot, but it's just, Yeah, okay, it's but November means not snow. Anyways, we Where are, are we going, going <laughs> to Book Outlet for the book sale. Does everybody know what that is? It's where they give you a box and you can fill it up with as many books as you can fit into it that is able to still close for $25. And I have a problem <laughs> and I keep going even though I haven't unpacked the four boxes I got last time. So there's that point, but it's fine. We're fine. We're going anyways. So it ends up being like a dollar a book pretty much because I think you got like 75 books last time. Yeah. Which is funny because there's 75 books that are in boxes. Shh. <laughs> Minor details. Okay, we'll see you later. Bye. I, I attacked mine yesterday. Like, that's what that one book is from. I still have to haul them all so I can put I them know. away. <laughs> yeah, but where are you going to put them? Shh. No, seriously. We're going to get me another bookcase. Perfect. Where, where are you going to put that bookcase? In Curtis's room. I don't think he's going to let you take his space. It's fine. Oh, look at all the books. How many do you have in there? I have three <laughs> at the most. Three books. I have I think three I... boxes. Action! <laughs> okay, so this came in the mail today. You're going to like this. It says, happy birthday, you beautiful bean. It's Molly. I really hope we get to meet in real life soon. When I finally have money, I will have a passport. <laughs> and I'll come to Canada and give you the biggest hug. Lovely, lo lovely. Love you endlessly, Molly. Oh. Okay, you ready? Yes. You ready? Yes. You sure? No. What is it? Yes, I am. Woo! <laughs> Thank you, Marty. This is like the other one I need. Which is it's now Saturday night at six o'clock. I haven't updated you guys since Friday morning because Friday. I went to Book Outlet and then went to Ricardo's house, so I just like didn't film anything there. This morning I went to work and then I went to Vic's house, who is a booktuber, so I will link her channel down below. She also does Twitch, which is super cool, so check out her Twitch channel as well. She was unhauling a bunch of books and she would like texted me and was like, hey, come over and like look through them to see if you want any of them. So I do have a pile of books right there that I picked up from her. I also gave her a couple of books that I was unhauling, so that's super cool to have somebody like literally right around the corner from you who also <laughs> likes books because I don't have a lot of friends like who like books, so it's exciting to realize that she's literally right there. I also realized I haven't actually updated you guys on my reading since like Monday, I think, so not a very good reading vlog apparently, but I finished Girl Town. Gave it a 1.5, was not a fan. I was just like confused throughout the entire thing and like, I don't like being confused. So I was not having a good time with it. But then second grave on the left, I am pretty much done. I'm on the last chapter. There's like probably 20 to 30 pages left of it. I mean, like it's a lot better than the first one, but not much better. So I gave the first one a one. I think I might give this like a 1.5 or a two, depending on the last chapter and what happens in it. But I'm clearly not a fan of these books, but I still have the third and fourth in the series. So I will be continuing. The third one just came into my Overdrive app. So right when I finish this one, I'm gonna start the next one. So super excited for that. So it's now Sunday and last night, I spent $700 on a new phone because this one is pissing me off because I'll have like 100% battery. I'll use it for like literally two minutes and it'll go down to 40%. So clearly my battery is screwed up. I think it's because my iPhone was listening to me because I was talking to my parents that I wanted a new phone and then all of a sudden, like a day later, it started crapping out. So iPhones listen to you, just saying. Yeah, so my bank account is crying. I'm getting an iPhone 8 because it was the least expensive of everything on the website because I'm a broke ass bitch. So that happened so now I need to go buy like a case for it because all of my cases are for iPhone 6s so 
love that for me. I'm just spending all the money this week apparently. But I finished two books last night. I finished Second Grave on the left. I gave it a 1.5. So I mean better than the one star I gave the first book but it's still not a good book. And then I also finished Third Grave Dead Ahead by Dorinda Jones. This is the third book in that series. I ended up giving it a two out of five stars. So it's getting better, still not great, but they are like entertaining books, just very, very problematic. I don't know, they're a lot, but today I'm working on homework until 12.30 and then I'm going to sushi with Ricardo and my best friend Abby and her boyfriend Matt for my birthday. So, I think I'm gonna end the vlog now so that I can edit it and get it up tonight because I have my wrap-ups coming on Monday and Wednesday. So that's what's going on. Thank you for joining me for this week's reading vlog. Will there be a reading vlog next week? We don't know. We'll see. But I will see you in the next video. Goodbye! <laughs>